Okay, so problem number 36, chapter 15, we're looking at um, the phase angle of a block spring system that's in simple harmonic motion. Um, we've got the position given by xm cos omega t plus phi. What is the ratio of kinetic energy to potential energy at time t equal to zero? All right. Uh, <clears throat> so, they're telling us a phase angle phi, right? This phi is um, pi over six, right? And so the question is, what is the ratio between kinetic and potential energy at time t equals zero? <coughs> Pardon me. All right. So um, first, what is the kinetic energy, right? The kinetic energy is one half mv squared. Well, we don't have m, right? And uh, v we can get from this equation by taking the derivative of x. That's not a problem. Um, and what's the potential energy? Potential energy is one half k x squared, right? And we're looking for the ratio between kinetic and potential. And we also don't know k, right? But we know that omega is the square root of k over m. So one more piece of information, All right? So kinetic energy, let's work with that and manipulate that. Kinetic energy is um, one half m, oh, let me put the k in, k, one half mv squared, Or let me go back, rephrase this. What is the velocity? All right? Because that's the important thing. That's the part we don't have. Well, we don't have the mass, but what is the velocity in um, this? So velocity dx dt is going to end up being minus omega maximum. Um, and then sine of omega t plus phi, All right? That's our velocity. And we're looking at the ratio of kinetic energy to potential energy at um, the point where t is zero, right? So if we do that, we want k over u um, uh, let me let's go back to this one half m phi squared right so that's going to be one half of m um, now v squared is going to be omega squared x of m squared sine squared of omega T plus phi. Oh, that didn't quite go the way I wanted. Right? Um, and since we know omega is k over m, this ends up being one half m onto omega squared is um, k over m, right? Uh, x sub m squared sine squared of omega t plus phi. So that's kinetic energy. Okay. Um, and you can see here the m, the mass cancels out one half k x m squared sine squared the omega t um, kinetic energy u is one half k. All right, x sub m squared. All right, cosine squared of uh, omega. T plus V. 
right? So we've got our kinetic energy, we've got our potential energy. Um, we see here the mass is going to cancel out, we're going to be left with K. We've got K here. So the things we don't know, like M and K and X of M, all are going to cancel out. We're asked for this at a particular time. So at that time, right, the omega T is zero because we're asked for at time T equals zero. And so this is going to be, and the one halves are going to cancel out, the k is going to cancel out, xm squared is going to cancel out. So this is just going to end up being sine squared of um, pi over 6, right, divided by cosine squared of pi over 6. All right, I mean, that's all we're left with it in the end. One half divides, the m's divide, the k's divide, the x of m squareds divide. We're left with sine squared pi over six over cosine squared of pi over six, All right? So let's just go equals sine of pi over six squared equals cosine of pi over six squared, right? And now we want the ratio, da, 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 0.333, oh, 0.333. And that would be it for problem 36.